Peace guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're watching the fourth and last movie of the Hunger Games series. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Lean back, kick your feet up and let's go. My family. Bakery I'm sorry. But like it's like he always remember only remembers his family in those instances. <laughs> like I already said it in the second movie, by the way, if you haven't seen my reaction to that, um link is in the info box and will be in the end of the card. At, at the end of this video in the card, so you can click on that then. Um but like I said in the second movie, he only seems to remember his family. <laughs> In those instances, like first he, he was like extremely mad at Katniss because she didn't tell him about Snow because he has also his family to protect. But then in the arena, he says he has no one when she dies and no one who cares about him, no one who needs him. And I'm like, except for your family, but there's no word about his family. And I'm like, sometimes you have a family, sometimes you don't, sometimes you care about them, sometimes you don't. What? <laughs> She's a monster! She's a mutt! The capital created to destroy us! Get her out of there. You have to kill her, Brim! You have to kill her! It's like he's been um conditioned to think that. But also I'm kinda pissed that it makes no sense whatsoever. Cause like why would I mean that she's a mutt? Uh, I don't know, that could make sense. But um uh, sense but that's the she's a cap that uh, mat that the capital created that makes no sense at all because she's the biggest threat for the capital <laughs> like that's my that makes literally logically no sense <laughs> but i understand that he's conditioned that way so he doesn't overthink it but still <laughs> i don't stand a chance if he doesn't get better that's selfish but at least it's selfish in a way that would benefit peter <laughs> No, don't kiss him again. Come on, you only kiss him when he's in pain and he knows it. And it goes on my nerves. <laughs> it's annoying me. It's like kissing someone who's drunk. Doesn't count. But you keep doing it and you keep playing with his feelings. And I mean, I don't like Gail, but he also doesn't deserve that. There are no rules anymore about what a person can do to another person. Yeah, because even like if Gail doesn't know that that trap will be later like be the trap that coin will use against children and then her own medical people it's still seriously fucked up because <laughs> like you l let uh, you explode a bomb then people rush in to help the wounded and then you explode another boom bomb that kills the people that rushed in to help the wounded you basically kill them for being decent people. That is seriously fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I in, in general, this this whole thing from of, of bombs and exploding shit is, is fucked up. But then war, so I kind of understand that. But also, the thing that you trap them by letting then you bomb explode when they rush in to help the wounded is is another level of fucked up. Let's be honest about that. To you for the reinforcements and the mud. Oh my god! That's um ugh, I, I always forget her, late, her name Gwendolyn, but I don't know her, her last name of the actress. But that's the actress that plays uh Brienne in Game of Thrones. And also plays the um principal in Wednesday. And also someone else in something different I recently had L Lucifer in 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 um Sandman, like she's in everything at the moment. Everything I watch, she's in there. <laughs> she's and she's always playing a different uh, kind of a different role. Like she's a chameleon. Damn. <laughs> you should be given the chance to surrender. Use one of the supply tunnels for the evacuees. Yes, thank you, Box. Thank you. <sighs> like he's except for Katniss, he's the only one who thought that was like extremely radical. <laughs> like. We should give them a chance, be decent human beings. We weren't given when they fired Mom 12. There's gotta be a better way. Also, you don't, like, that, that's what, that, that's what, I already said it in, in the second movie. Like, 
Gale always fights violence with violence. His like his philosophy is always like an eye for an eye, which is actually the philosophy of a lot of those people in this um, world, you know. While Katniss's philosophy is kind of it's not really she's gonna take another slap like the the whole New Testament thing. <laughs> and yeah, I'm quoting the Bible. I'm sorry, I don't believe in it, but they have some really good pictures in there. <laughs> there are some really good metaphors in there <laughs> that stick with people. Um, like, it's not exactly that she like holds the other side of her face and lets, her, uh, lets him slap her again, but she also doesn't say an eye for an eye, you know? She kind of always tries to still give them a way out, to still be a, like... She's only doing what's necessary and not... Uh, how do I describe it? She always f thinks with, like, a little bit kindness, like, give them a way out. Like, give them the possibility to surrender. Yeah, we didn't have the chance, but why shouldn't... But why should we go down to their level? Let us give them that chance to surrender. Like, give us... Give them that chance. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Gail is 100%... Um, an eye for an eye. They gave us no chance, so we give them no chance. While while Katniss is more like, um, okay, they gave us no chance, but we don't have to stoop down to their level. Let's give them a chance. She is, is a little bit more. She's a little bit more empathy and um, more kindness in her approaches, and that's unusual in that world. But Box also has that, and I love that. I love Box. <laughs> I think that's why also why Box is 100% Team Katniss and not Team Coin or anyone else. Crushing the enemy online or blowing them out of the sky with one of BD's arrows, it's the same thing. We were under attack in District 8. And that hovercraft wasn't filled with civilians. It doesn't matter. Even if those civilians are just mopping floors, they're helping the enemy. And if they have to die, I can live with that. You see, that's the difference. Like, I, I already, already said it before also. Like... Katniss doesn't attack and kill if it's not necessary. Uh, like if she only kills in protection of others. Like she attack, she she doesn't attack. She protect. So if she kills someone and it's in protection of others, of herself or others, that's it. Period. She's not attacking or killing for the sake of killing or for the sake of taking an enemy out that could be a danger maybe in the future. You know what I mean? She's just protecting. She's just, like, not looking in the future and attacking some people that maybe could be a danger in the future. But instead, she's, like, um, protecting the people that are in that moment. If someone is in that moment in danger, then she's protecting. Then she's killing to protect in that moment. You know what I mean? Well, Gail is like, yeah, let's just kill them all to be sure. <laughs> also, he's, like, really ruthless. Like, if you're Sweeping the floors, then you're helping the animals, enemy, therefore you deserve to die. So he has much more of that uh, kill them all philosophy, philosophy. No mercy, kill them all. And I think it's really, like, Katniss has gone through so fucking much. So, so fucking much. And it's really, and it's kind of not normal, not usual, um, that she is still, that she somehow still has that light, you know? She isn't consumed by revenge and consumed by the fact to kill them all. She still has that, that light and kindness and mercy in her. You know what I mean? She's still that person she was in the beginning, even though she, she gone through so much and she's mentally really not, not good. Like she's still not ruthless. She still has that, that light and that kindness and that mercy in her that like started the rebellion in the beginning. She's still that person that like, in, in that, kind of at that point she's like still that person that s s sang through a song and then uh, put flowers around her when she was dead because it was the right thing to do like in the and that she, she she's still that person that only killed that one that, that that had a first kill to protect rue in that moment and it was pure instinct to protect rue and it wasn't and like she wasn't even 
Like, you could see that it even haunted her. Like, in, in the beginning of the second movie, she shot that um, bird and she saw that kid she killed. That Rue. Like, that kid killed Rue, but she still had a bad conscience about killing that kid. It's, it's really kind of awesome that she, like, still has that in her. This, that, this light, this kindness, this mercy. Um, where Gail didn't go as nearly as much as Katniss. I mean, yeah, he saw District 12 get bombed, but let's be honest, that's basically it. <laughs> and, um, like, she, he didn't go as much, uh, through as much as Katniss, and still, he was kind of ruthless before, and now she's even, he's even worse ruthless. Like, kill them all, kill them all, no mercy to anyone. With that kind of thinking, you can kill whoever you want. You can send kids off to the Hunger Games to keep the districts in line. Yes. That's the kind of thinking that started it all. That's also, like, this whole thing between them. Like, she's still keeping it, like, uh, Gail being that ruthless. And Katniss, like, seeing that ruthlessness in Gail and being like, yeah, I don't approve of that. I don't see it that way. That's how the whole thing started. With this ruthlessness, ruthlessness with this kind of thinking, you know? Um, that is really what drives them away from each other. And then the final straw at the end is um, Gale's bomb that he um, adv invented killing her sister. That's the final straw. But like, they are already driving apart in this movie because of the views really fast. It's war, Katniss. Sometimes killing is impersonal. Figured if anyone knew that, it was you. I, of all people, know that it's always personal. Or rather, Katniss is, dry, go, is um, separating herself from him and dry, going, further, uh, going further away from him. Because Gail is still there at the end. He still wants her to be, wants her to be like before. But Katniss, in the end, is the one taking the final step and saying, no, I don't want to see you ever again. And right here also, you, you can see that, like, she is this kind of disgusted by by uh, Gail's perspective of the whole thing. I know many people are, are now are like, damn, that was stupid. But that is what started the revolution. This is exactly the behavior she's pulling on, putting on the whole time. Everyone else is just starting to fire at them because they think it's a threat. And the only thing Katniss sees is that this man is hurt. Yeah, he might be a threat, but he's hurt and hurt and he needs help. So what does Katniss? She runs to him and tries to get him some help. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I've been saying the whole time. <laughs> Always snow. I am done being a piece. We have no fight, except the one the capital gave us. Why are you fighting the rebels? Your neighbors, your family. There we go again. Just talked him out of shooting her just by saying the truth. Just by being like, yeah, we blow up your mine. You blew up your district. I don't approve of either of that things. You have no reason not to cheat me. Except for that it's only helping Snow and the fact that we are, that we shouldn't fight each other, that we are the f family, that we are neighbors, that we are family. And he, dro and he dropped his weapon. God, I love her so much. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I, I absolutely love her. And um, the, my, as you might have noticed by now, my Hunger Game reactions... Um, are basically me praising Katniss for being absolutely awesome. I mean, she also has her flaws. She's like leading a uh, Gale on the whole time, which I don't like. But I, I, I still, I absolutely love her. I just do. We all have one enemy, and that's Snow. Turn your weapons to the capital. Turn your weapons to Snow. Well, it was very nice of that one rebel that he waited till the end of her speech for, for before shooting her, uh, of that uh, loyalist, not rebel. Um, also, that speech wasn't 
only for the loyalists. It really wasn't. It was also for the rebels because she's like, yeah, why do we fight the loyalists? Like the loyalists, why do you fight us? But also why do we fight the loyalists? They are not our enemies. They are just not. We are, when we are killing loyalists, we're also killing for snow. <laughs> it is the truth. Like every kill out there is for every kill that's in the district is for snow. Like you're, you're doing snow kind of a favor. Oh, that speech you gave. Oh man, feel. I mean, I still have goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, she's good at that. Like if she's really like doing it out of the moment, she's like really good at giving speeches like Damn. <laughs> All I know is that I would have saved myself a lot of suffering if I had just given that bread to the pig. That's something very mean to say. It's also something very true to say, but it's also something very, very mean to say. You may kiss the bride. I'm sorry, but anytime, every, I said it before, but every time I see Finnegan there, I'm just, I'm just thinking about Love, Rosie. I absolutely, absolutely love that movie. You know what would help for not being recognized? Put your hood on again! He's evacuating residents from the outer blocks. The civilians will be confused and desperate. You were under orders not to target them. We're deploying medical brigades to help anyone in need. We'll show the capital people who we are. I like that. Like, they actually like, we're not harming innocents. And if innocents should get harmed, our people would go there and help them, even if they are technically our enemy now. But those are innocent people. They're not fighting us or was not with them, you know? I actually like that. That's like Katniss's mindset. That's like the mindset of the Mockingjay. And you can see that like it kind of got to the districts uh, and the districts got that message too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to, to the, the 76, 76 Hunger Games. Games. <laughs> it was Peter that she wanted rescued from the arena. She never liked you. She doesn't like anybody or anything she can't control. So she would put my life in danger? She denied, but... What? One way or another, this war is going to come to an end. They promise a free election. Maybe she's starting to see you as a threat. I love Box. Because, like, right now you also see he's not Team Coin. He's Team Katniss. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> There's only one thing you could do now to add more fire to this rebellion. Die. That's not gonna happen under my watch, Katniss. I'm planning for you to have a long life. Aw, I love what box. Because you've earned it. I love box. Absolute best character in this fucking movies. Ah! Oh my god, his legs are gone! Oh my god. Katniss Everdeen. <clears throat> what did you just do? Katniss. Don't trust them. Oh, I love box so much. Peter, if you have to. Do what you came to do. He knows. I love Box. He's like only loyal to her. I absolutely love him. Like it's actually nice. They were like, okay, if you made it this high in the building, then you deserve to live. So like they actually gave him a chance to survive by not flooding the whole building, but being like, yeah, if you made it to the top floor, you deserve to survive. It's fine. <laughs> I murdered one of our squad members. Kenneth is right. I'm a mutt. This is so fucking tragic. Because remember in the first movie when Peter said he doesn't want the capital to make him something he's not? That's his worst fear. There you go. His worst fear just came to life. And he's right in it. A poor, unstable girl with nothing but a small talent with a bow and arrow is dead. A small talent with a bow and arrow? Have you seen her? Shooting? She will not have died for nothing. I had no idea I meant so much to her. <laughs> Me neither, darling. Me neither. The arena has moved underground. I think he's actually fascinated with her sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if they're gonna get me again with the scare jump this time. No, the Jackson doesn't make it. There's gonna be a scare jump now every any second. Okay, it didn't get me that time this time. Yes! <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, Finnick isn't gonna make it. Ah, fuck. I don't know if, if Annie's in the movies also is pregnant, but I'm pretty sure in the book she was pregnant. And he didn't make it back to her. Yeah, Phoenix dead. Ah, she destroys the holo. The dying one after the other. Like, almost none of them are left. I'm pretty sure Pollux's brother is dead. I think he was one of the first Mats took. Stay with me. Always. Yeah. He's been fighting it. He's been fighting it the whole time. Now she's back there fighting with him. I never meant for this to happen. I failed they. They all knew what they got into. They all knew it. She has like really much guilt over that, but they all knew that what they got into got themselves into. They knew it. They knew that they wouldn't come uh, that the chances that they came out of the life were like really low. Virus. Rue. What do all those deaths mean? They mean that our lives were never ours. There was no real life because we didn't have any choice. These people choose. If you end all of this, all those deaths, they mean something. True for that and also those deaths already mean something because it was their choice. They, those deaths were their choice. Like all the people that died now on that journey, they chose to go on that journey with you. Like they chose... They knew that they probably would die, and they chose to anyways. They had a choice in that. You basically gave them a choice. Jackson. Finnick. They chose this. They chose you. I love that he's the one giving the motivating speeches right now, even though his mind is totally screwed up at the moment. <laughs> But like he he's already kind of back like he's not 100% back and I don't think he's ever gonna going to be 100% back but he's already kind of back and he's already back on Katniss's side so there's that at least Katniss will pick whoever she can survive without which is Peter let's be honest it's Peter no those are bombs and they're aimed at the children those are children. Fucking terrible. That's all coins doing. And there they help us from the rebels. That are run forward because they were employed to help. And gay is trap. They don't even care that they just blew up their own medics. I can't believe that. And also Girl on fire. It's like that thing that goes through all the time. Like they said girl on fire because that looked cool. But like it's like there are so many occasions where this also is, is very fit. But it's like not good for her. <laughs> like right now she's a girl on fire. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, Prim's dead. And there is no reason for me to destroy a pen full of capital children. None at all. <coughs> and turned everyone against him, so that would have been a stupid move. So it was obviously wasn't him. Goodbye, Gail. That was what I said at the beginning. She's the one to say, no, not anymore. Uh, 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 like, we don't fit together anymore. Our views changed. Like, I don't even think that it was because of his, uh, her sister. I don't even think that because I'm not 100% sure that she makes Pr him responsible for Prim's death. But I, what I do think is that this was actually um, Gail's trap. And she would, was already horrified when she saw that idea of him. And now that she saw it in action, she can't be friends or anything with Gail anymore because this is... A, he is capable of creating something so horrible and he's been defending his stance on the whole thing the whole way through this movie. I have taken the burden and the honor of declaring myself interim president of Panam. Of course you declared yourself interim president of Panam. 
That's exactly what Snow said. That's exactly what was clear from the start that she was caught. That's also exactly what Box told Katniss that she would, was going to take power. You want to have another Hunger Games with the Capitol's children? That's so incredibly fucked up. Fucked up. The children of the Capitol didn't do anything. This is so incredibly fucked up. That they even proposed this and this, that this is going to get a majority vote. It's phenomenally fucked up. So would Finnick if he were here? Well, he's not. Because Snow killed him. No. We need to stop viewing each other as enemies. Yes, I see it the same way. Also, if Katniss had this much blood, blood lust to kill Snow, or better yet, if she... Uh, I don't know if she's planning it yet or if she actually wants to kill Snow and decides otherwise in this last second. She would also vote no. The woman that led her into the, the greenhouse to snow and um, I think she, she's from eight. I think she's like a leader from eight. Um, that she's going to become the next president and she's going to be voted next president or something. Yeah, Snow already knows that she's not going to let, let Coin get away with that. May her arrow signify the end of tyranny and the beginning of a new era. Like, Coin, with your speech, like, your speech kind of, like, even if she hadn't had, like, that decision already, like, your speech was really mocking towards her. Like, uh, if she hadn't made that decision already, your speech would have turned her around. Pretty sure about that. Because <laughs> you just made it very, very obvious that she needs to die. <laughs> that you need to die. To bring forth what you just talked about. Yes! Yeah, Peter just stopped her from killing herself, but I, I and he she probably sees it as like a betrayal. But let's be honest, I don't think that like get now after Coin is dead, I don't think that anyone is going to torture her or do something else. Yeah, Plutarch is also happy. <laughs> he didn't like Coin. He also saw the tyrant in her, pretty sure about that. I'm sorry so much burden fell on you. I know you'll never escape it. But if I had to put you through it again for this outcome, I would. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but still, it's the fate of the people against her fate, so. If you don't be a stranger. So they did have something! Ha! <laughs> I knew that they must have had something somewhere, sometime. Yeah, she's absolutely not okay. I think she wasn't okay since the first Hunger Games and she's still not okay. She's And now she's less than okay because of her sister. Get out! Prim is gone! Prim is gone! This is heartbreaking. Jennifer Lawrence does such a great job in that. <laughs> the scene almost makes me cry every time. Peter's back! Where the hell was he for so long, by the way? It's Primrose. <sighs> I got something in my throat. <laughs> This is so fucking sad. Like this whole thing started because she wanted to protect her sister and went into the games to protect her sister. And now after all this time, she won the war, so she changed the world, but her sister's dead. Like she might have started a revolution. She might have made sure that they lived in a better world, you know, but her sister and the reason she did all that is just gone. You love me. Real or not real? Real. Real. Yes! Finally. She chose the one she can't survive without. Like she said. Like Gail said. And they're having two children. That's so cute. Why they came. Why they will never go away. Yeah. Mental health issues that don't go away. <laughs> Her mental health will stay fucked up forever. For all the good things I've seen someone do. 
Yeah, you see, that's also that's that's like a little thing, but like she's focusing on the good. Like like I said before, like she doesn't see all that pain and suffering and shit like that and thinks about um revenge and how um to make those people pay, but instead she chooses to focus on the good things and the kindness that some people show other people, you know? And she even makes a list of every good thing that she's seen a person do. That's why she and Gail would have never worked. Because Peter's kind of the same thing. Peter's li like that. He's kind of like Katniss. Like he he reacts to violence with with kindness and looks where he can find good and tries to help and shit like that. While instead of answering with more violence. It's also why he voted no against uh in the in the um for hunger games for the capital with the capital children you know like they are the same in that way and gail and um katniss are not they're like complete opposites and gail's violence in tend um gail's violence or look with violence on the violent look on the world and revenge filled look on the world and his ruthlessness was always gonna drive Katniss away she just needed to realize it for herself they were never going to work out he was always like set to cause a lot of harm and probably like cause a lot of harm to people he didn't even want to cause a lot of harm to because of his mindset that was the last Hunger Games movie guys um, I absolutely love the Hunger Games movies, they are awesome, absolutely awesome, and um, yeah, I, I just love them. I, I'm absolutely a sucker for Katniss, I love Katniss, I really do. Um, I'm also definitely for Katniss and Peter, like for a while I really disliked Peter, but I have to say I actually really like him. I pref much prefer him to Gale. I really don't like Gale. If you like Gale, um, I'm sorry that I've been hating on him, on him the whole uh, the whole time. It's just my opinion. I know everyone has different opinions, but um, it's my opinion. It's my channel. I'm free to give my opinion. Um, <laughs> you can also get. You're also welcome to disagree with me in the comments, but please keep it friendly. Uh, my ch channel is supposed to be an insult free channel and we can all offer our opinions and discuss things without insulting each other um i believe in that i'm not insulting anyone while i'm offering my opinions and i'm not insulting anyone else's opinions so be so kind do me the same courtesy 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 and also don't start insulting each other in my comments it's going to be a friendly comment section and I want my channel to be a safe zone where we can all comment and say whatever we think and give our opinions without insulting each other. With that said, um, if you like my reaction, if you like this reaction, if you uh, like my other reactions, or even if you just like my reaction, um, check out some of my other stuff and uh, subscribe, please. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would help me very much. Um, also, leave a like because the likes are always helping me to know if you actually enjoy what I'm doing here or if I'm just doing it for myself. Let's. I think it's time to end this video. Um, on over here, you can now see my most current up my current upload. And over here, uh, my most recent upload. And over here, um, you can click on um, all my mo on my playlist with all my movie reaction reactions. There are also all the other Hunger Games reactions in there, um, and those will be the most recent one w recent ones in that playlist. So you will find them all in there if you want to watch the other ones. I hope I will see you in the next video in my next video again. Until then, bye guys.